Hold on. Okay, now. No, not now. Okay. Hold on. Hi guys, so a bit of an update really. Um, Svetlana's back in the UK. Um, she originally was going for a dental appointment, but we had a massive row uh, just before she set off. A continuation really of something that's been going on for months. Um, so I, I'm not sure whether she's going to be coming back or not. Um, so um, yeah. Um, it's quite lonely here without, but um, I've got to make the best of it. So um, I'm trying to get the boat set up for solo sailing. Um, I've been making work for myself. So um, I've fitted a remote control for the windlass so that I can control the boat to anchor from the cockpit, which is going to be essential because I'm going to need to move the boat tomorrow. We're currently in uh, Paleros, which is beautiful, but the charter boats come in for turnaround over the weekend, so you've got to leave on a Friday lunchtime, and um, you can you can come back on Sunday afternoon uh, as long as there's spaces. So um, it's a nice place, it's cheap, uh, nice people. Um, the guy that runs the charter business is very accommodating, which is really good. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing other jobs as well. So our passerelle uh, got damaged uh, when we were at Agios Nicholas and uh, had a hole in it. So what I've done is I found some uh, marine ply and I've stripped out all of the damaged grating. And uh, I've, th this bottom half here had some damaged pieces in it as well. So I've, I've basically, Put the best of the best back in there, and there's a piece of Conti board supporting it. And then um, this is what I want it to look like when it's completely finished. I need somewhere to find some more marine ply so I can uh, do the bottom half in the same way as the top half. I've got a nice little fender, and uh, my next plan is to try and change this pulley system so that we're raising this vertically rather than it twisting all the time. Um, which, you'll, you'll like that, won't you, Trev? Because you're a bit unsure, aren't you? Eh? What else have I done? I've oiled the seats, T-coiled the seats, and uh, at the front as well, the little uh, hand rails on the front, they're all T-coiled. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've kept busy. I've put this canopy back on and I think I'm going to get some vinegar and, and uh, water mixture and just try and get this um, mildew off um, before we leave. Um, so next job is to fill the water tanks and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. It's very hot isn't it girls? Not as hot as the UK at the moment but it's still quite hot. So these two basically during the day they don't know what to do themselves. They're finding shade on sleeping so uh, I keep hosing them down keep them cool uh, we've been to the beach a couple of times but the beach is getting very busy and um, in Greece there is a law that says that dogs aren't actually allowed on the beach so uh, I'm a bit concerned that we're going to get told off if we're not careful so yeah um, but that's it I'm keeping positive I'm trying to uh, do as many jobs as I can and uh, yeah catching up on my Greek language as well so I'm, I'm doing um, some more Greek lessons on the app on my iPhone and so uh, hopefully I'll get to speak a little bit more Greek to people so yeah watch this space as I say tomorrow we've got to leave so that'll be fun so one of the challenges that we have 
paddling this boat solo is the um, anchor because there's no way of, re of operating it remotely. So I've just bought this um, remote control unit. It's a bit of an experiment because it was only cheap. It was £25 on Amazon and um, I'm going to uh, fit it see how we go. This panel here in the V-Burst should come out and if it does it should give me access to the rear of the chain locker which I think is where all the connections are so we'll see what happens. I was right it did look at that just two screws one top one bottom and now we've got access to the uh, windless remote control well this is the relay here so uh, what I need to do is work out which is the up and down and which is the positive and negative from the battery and then we should be able to plumb it all in okay job done and it works it's all wired in so I'm just going to tidy the wires and then uh, put the cabinet back and then we're sorted good stuff so there we have it here's our anchor remote control and I've fastened it in and it's wired into the 12 volt system so I don't need to change batteries I've got a second remote here that is still battery operated you turn it on here and off and it works a treat so in practice this one's really good because I can actually take it to the front if I need to uh, if I'm doing the ropes or whatever I can still use this and then this is here for when I'm actually reversing and uh, all the other stuff so it actually works really well so here we are Friday uh, it's about 12 o'clock uh, 12.30 and uh, I'm solo sailing we have cast off from uh, Paleros and um, the sails are up this one is not fully out I wasn't confident enough to do that but it's almost fully out um, and I could really put it out but we're sailing quite well uh, that's Meganisi in the distance we're actually going to be heading over there to uh, cast to Calamos um, I've got an invitation to join a flotilla um, which will help basically in uh, mooring at Calamos that's a general idea so, so we've just got some uh, some nice sailing to do now and uh, we'll see how we get on when we get to furling at the other end Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. 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 Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. You and I, the future is bright. All in all, not a bad day. We're uh, now motoring into Calamos. Uh, we sailed pretty much all the way apart from the last sort of 10 minutes. And uh, the wind's now gone up, it's 35 knots. So I'm glad I filled the sails when I did, because it, it could have been a bit gnarly otherwise. But yeah, so uh, not looking forward to the next bit, because I've got to actually more stern too. So uh, that means using the anchor remote. So we'll see how I get on. Well, we're up to 40 knots now. So, here we are at Calamos. Um, the wind's died down overnight, but it's forecast to do the same again this afternoon. So, um, I don't think we're going to stay here. I think the next thing to do is try um, dropping a hook somewhere. See how we get on. Uh, girls have been fed. They've got plenty of food on board. I've got food on board. There's water. There's beer, so that's the important stuff. Um, yeah, so now it's kettle on, some breakfast, and then a uh, little bit of work. Mystery okay, a little bit of work, and then uh, yeah, we'll head off, see where we get to. You're like a circle that
floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. That you showed up was written in my palm. You are a statement, explode like a bomb. I get to push myself to victory. You make me win. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You showed me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner. Well, I said there wasn't any wind up past the island and we've got about 10 knots. So it's not a lot, but it's enough to sail. So we're doing about three knots and I've got the sails on. We're out sailing. Heading towards Megadisi. The girls are happy. They're just um, chillaxing as usual before we start sailing they go to sleep. So uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just uh, head out uh, towards Magnesi and see where we go from there. Back in Polaris and a little bit of time on my hands so I thought I'd try and do something to improve how our passerelle raises and lowers and uh, before it was on the outboard um, winch which always caused a problem when we want to use the outboard. Um, now I've put a pulley here, another one here and I've created like a triangle. I'm not overly happy with this but I do have another pulley so I think what I might do is actually um, put another one here and uh, make it into a three pulley arrangement and do it like that and uh, yeah so we'll give it a go there we go it's working a treat in it goes so put the third pulley in and now I just pull on this it comes straight up and yep it can pass them like that when we want to raise it and it lowers easily much better that's still could demonstrate don't you is it good does it work <laughs> 